the question. I had a dream. It was about the judgment. And I saw a line of people. The line seemed to be endless. The person at the front of the line was asked a question. Why should I let you into heaven? And the man replied, Well, I tried to be a good person. I followed the golden rule. And the man was told, Depart from me. Follow that wide road. The wide road that leads to destruction. The next man stepped forward and he was asked the same question. Why should I let you into heaven? And he replied, I follow the Ten Commandments. And he was told, Depart from me. Follow that wide road. You see many people on that road? Join them. It leads to destruction. The next man stepped forward and he was asked the same question. Why should I let you into heaven? He said, well, I was baptized. I was told that if I would be baptized, I would go to heaven. And he was told, depart from me. Follow that wide road with the multitude, the wide road to destruction. The next man stepped forward, and he was asked the same question. Why should I let you into heaven? And the man said, I repented. I stopped sinning. I paid my tithes and I fasted. And the man was told, Depart from me. You who are trying to be justified by your religious work, follow that wide road, it leads to destruction. The next man stepped forward and he was asked the same question. Why should I let you into heaven? And the man replied, I preached in your name. I prophesied. I performed many wonderful works in your name. And the man was told, Depart from me. You who are trying to be justified by your own self-righteousness, by your own religious work, join them on that wide road that leads to destruction. The next man stepped forward and he was asked the same question. Why should I let you into heaven? And the man replied, I believe Jesus Christ is my Savior and stop! You believed Jesus Christ was your Savior and as soon as you add anything to that statement you have just frustrated the grace of God. God is so gracious God offered you a free gift, the gift of salvation. But you frustrated the grace of God by adding requirements. Depart from me. Follow them down that wide road 
that leads to destruction. The next man stepped forward and he was asked the same question. Why should I let you into heaven? And the man replied, Because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is my Savior. And he was told, You answered correctly. Let me look in the Lamb's Book of Life for your name. I see it right here. You put your faith in the Son of God, December 26th, 1986. Follow that narrow road into heaven. The narrow road so you can have eternal life in heaven. The difference between the people on those roads, the difference between the people who went into heaven and those who went into destruction was one thing. Everyone that went into heaven were believers in Jesus Christ as their Savior. Everyone that went down the wide road to destruction were unbelievers. Salvation comes by the grace of God through faith in Jesus Christ. There is no other way to get into heaven. And faith in the Son of God as your Savior is the only requirement for salvation. And if you try to get into heaven any other way, you'll fail. And if you add any other requirements besides faith in the Son of God as your Savior, you'll go down that wide road into destruction.